Howdy, I'm Tim. Ahoy, I'm Matt at Mr. Maple. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite sandwiches, Acer Palmatum Reuben. <laughs> sandwiches, you mean <laughs> Japanese maples. Okay, Japanese maples, but it's named after one of my favorite sandwiches. Is it really? <laughs> Actually, no, it's named by one of our friends at Esfeld Plantinium. You're gonna love this deeper look at Acer Palmatum Reuben. So after that intro, <laughs> Acer Palmatum Reuben is a really cool Japanese maple. It really has some amazing pink colors in the spring. You want to give it some sunlight, it'll really pick up these colors. We're here in early April of 2022. It gives you a little bit of a time frame of what we're looking at here with this tree. Yeah, they're just starting to leaf out. This is one of my favorite pinks. It's a low spreading form with just a lot of pink color that's accented by some bright yellow in the, in the middle of the leaf. It really picks that color up overall. It's definitely one of those Japanese maples that looks like a flower in the early spring. I mean, the foliage is the flower with this one. Think of it in terms of colors, it's like the Shinda Sojo, where it's one of those spring flushes that then does fade to a lighter green, but it's an exceptional tree, especially in the early spring garden. I think you're gonna love this one for its overall colors, but also for its habit and leaf shape. Now, this sort of grouping of pinks that you see in the springtime, where they sort of have this coral pink color, can vary based on your environmental condition and the weather and the sunlight conditions that you've got in your garden. Um, you can see this thing range sometimes from a bright, 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 bright pink mm -hmm. to a coral pink. And so it can definitely vary from year to year. And uh, that's one of the things that I love about it. This is one of those things that you can really get a lot of colors out. And it's one of those plants that's always gonna be that sort of flowering type maple in the yeah. spring with some amazing pink colors. This one's just starting to leaf out here in Western North Carolina. We're actually in early April. It'll actually get to an even brighter pink when it gets fully in leaf. Uh, exceptional color patterns to it. Now, I think this one would be great for bonsai for that small foliage. A lot of people ask for DeSojo constantly because DeSojo has small foliage and bright spring color. This one's already gonna be a dwarfer overall tree than DeSojo. It's gonna have very, very small foliage. It's gonna work great with that pinchback method. I would say the leaves of these are typically even on a mature tree like this, half the size of DeSojo at the same age. So an excellently small plant. You know, I actually heard somebody, he was kind of being a little bit of a hater, but he described this one as a poor man's Ryusin. And, and I think he missed the boat completely on what this one does. It's a low spreading tree. So the form of this tree is gonna be a very low wide vase shape. The tree has a single base going into the ground because it's grafted, but it's gonna be a very multi-stemmed approach to this. And it makes a great palette for all that bright spring color. So don't expect this one to be a weeping tree like Ryusin, but if you're looking at it as a small, dense upright, look no further. This is an excellent candidate with a lot of color. Yeah, exactly. It, it's more of that shrub form, very dense habit, that spreading habit, really almost like a flowering shrub. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you think of it as the shape of a flowering shrub, like an azalea, this one is a very similar shape the way it grows, but it just gives you some amazing pinks all across the leaves. And for a Japanese maple, it's really unique in its shape and it's really different for sure as well. Yeah, this is an introduction by Esfeld Plantinium in Holland. I was honored to go and visit Esfeld uh, when the Maple Society toured there. I believe it was in 2011 or 2012, I'd have to look. But Cor Van Gelderen is one of my favorite maple people in the world. He's one of the maple people I go to to geek out and just sit back and listen. And when he gawks around a garden, that's who I follow. I quit taking the tour. I go where Cor's going because that's the tour I want. And uh, just one of my favorite maple people. Now, Ruben's one of his sons, and he named this one after him. Excellent plant. If you know anything about uh, Esfeld there in Holland, it's a super historic nursery. The original Arium's there on the grounds. I may do a whole podcast on going and visiting that place. Heck, maybe we can even get Cor to, to be in our podcast. He may be visiting this, this fall as well. But just a wonderful family with a rich tradition of Japanese maples there in Holland. And one you're definitely gonna wanna have in your garden is the Acer Palmatum Reuben. Yeah, this is a plant that ended up getting about six to seven foot by about six to seven foot wide, sometimes eight foot wide in 10 years. So it makes a nice mid-sized shrub mm -hmm. that you can use in a lot of spaces. And it's great to put where you've got maybe a little bit of a uh, larger Japanese maples in the canopy around it. And then you can put the Reuben sort of somewhere in between to fill up some of that space. Now, I like to pair Reuben with an unsweet tea and some kettle chips. That's typically what I'm doing at lunch. And now a word from our sponsor. Hey, we've talked a lot about food today, and maybe on your lunch break, take a second and check out today's sponsor. It's MrMaple.com. They have over a thousand different varieties of Japanese maple, and there's some really nice guys. You're definitely gonna find a plant you like on MrMaple.com. So be sure to take that lunch break and check on MrMaple.com. So Acer Palmatum Reuben, 
pairs well with a lot of other Japanese maples. I love to pair this next to something like Summer Gold. You know, you've heard Tim say it, but those yellows really pick up the colors. This has that hint of yellow in the eye to it. So putting it yet next to a yellow Japanese maple really makes it just premium on that color. You can also get a similar effect with a lot of green lace leaves. So putting this near a Veritas, a Veritas or a waterfall will really make this Reuben look like it's just electric. Yeah, or if you could put, pair this well with an upright green like a Sengukaku that's going to give you some red bark, an upright form, and some green color, that's going to contrast extremely well against that plant as well. Uh, things like Emperor One or Bloodgood as a large tree that's going to give you that deep, deep, deep maroon. This will give you contrast throughout the season where something like an Emperor One is going to hold that color throughout the season. And so there's a great pairing because you get the seasonal interest in there with your Japanese maples. And sometimes if I'm tired of the kettle chips, I'll go with like potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> so here we've got an up close look at Acer Pomatum Rubin. Yeah, as I mentioned before, this one has exceptionally small foliage. I think it's gonna work really well for a bonsai with that pinchback method because the leaves are really tiny, but also really showy, especially in the early spring garden. I love this color. It's really unique in the spring garden. You can really pair this well with a lot of large upright reds or greens, as we mentioned before. So it's a great plant to bring that new dimension of that pink color in the landscape and garden. If you really want some shock and awe, put this one next to a Kristen Star. They're both gonna be low spreading plants, but with different colors. Again, it's early spring here. This one's just starting to leaf. As, these fo as this foliage gets more in the sunlight and more unfurled, it gets even more intensely pink. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Acer Palmatum Reuben, not the Reuben sandwich. <laughs> this is a cool plant that I really think you'll enjoy in the garden with some amazing pinks. You're gonna love this one. It's one that's rarely offered in the United States. Uh, it's kind of a rarity here. It's, it's a really fun plant. I think it's more prevalent in Europe just because Esfeld named this one. It's a classic, awesome plant. You're gonna love this one in your garden. It's definitely rare, so it is a little harder to find. I think we've offered it a few times here at Mr. Maple. It's definitely coming back soon. If it isn't on our website currently, We'll be relisting again soon, so you can always sign up to get notified when it's back in stock. I love this plant. Um, I love the sandwich as well, but I really love this tree. <laughs> Take care. God bless. And have a great day.